already seen how special this place is, mountain in the backdrop. You will soon be seeing the sea. And I'm perched on the first tee. I think the idea is I'll play this golf course, we'll do a nine all sort of keeper score. That way you get to see Buena Vista golf course, I get to play it. And along the way we'll talk about the design of it and see if it's uh, as good as the great man himself, eh? Right, okay, so already we need a bit of Seffi magic, magic hands. He'd probably go through the middle of that gap, but I'm not so confident. I'm going to try and go over, and maybe that's the wrong idea as well. Pitching wedge 104, and uh, yeah, not a great second shot. Water on the left as well. pitched in the bank it was a bit lucky because if it was a bit a bit firmer I think it had gone down it's literally halfway down the bank it just turned over down to the left hand side so a bit of a chip and a putt required back off the back slope down to the hole it's a bit of a miraculous five I think how I held onto that bank I just do not know it was literally uh, it was still see a bit of mud on the ball it was just a little bit plugged but so lucky that would have gone back down into them uh, into that pond any other day but we'll take it First look at the greens, uh, I've played here all day yesterday, there's, they're big the greens, there's plenty of undulation in them as well, plenty of movement. This one looks to have got a big slope from, um, from right to left and a little bit quick as well. I need a bit of uh, magic hands from Seve I think, let's get that one rolling, will it swing round, maybe too wide, oh hang on, hang on, hang on, oh, that would have been a nice way to look at the greens. Uh, Sevi helping me out there but what you've got the point to mention you'll see it all the time you've got the C at one side yeah and then literally when you switch over to the other side you've got the mountains that's not a bad view when you're playing golf whichever way you're looking So when you're booking a holiday abroad, a little bit of a trip, what do you need? Well, you want the sunshine, you want a great golf course, you might want views, you might want sea views. So Buena Vista Golf Club's got all of them. We'll go and have a look, come with me a bit further, because the other thing is, 
There's an added extra at Buena Vista Golf Club. For me in particular, this golf course is designed by my golfing hero, Sevi Ballesteros. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But before you get to that, just have a look at this view at the back of the 13th green. That's worth the journey in itself. If you do come and visit uh, Buena Vista, just a quick heads up, the uh, golf course is attached to the Hotel Amelia Hacienda del Conde, I hope we got that bit right. It's literally, I don't know, 500 yards up the road, the shuttle bus is back and to any perfect stop off. Rooms are really nice, food's been good, it's got a great, it's, it's eight floors all facing that way, looking out at the sea. And uh, I don't want to make this an advert, but it's, seriously, it's a real nice place to stay. It's, uh, it's been very, very good indeed, so make sure you have a look at that. If you consider playing this golf course, it's a perfect linking. This is right on it, you know. This is right on it. Sit. Oh, oh, sit and stop. Ping G410 5 iron. They say that game improvement irons don't stop and spin. This is downwind. More importantly, let's have a look at the hole. How much does this remind you of Pebble Beach? Look at that. I've not been to Pebble Beach, but that's what I expect to see when I get there. And I found it in Tenerife. What a golf course, Sevi. Can't believe that just went in. I was praying that went in to give my homage to Sevi's fist pump there. Um, Sevi's magic hands as you well know everybody's heard about those those spanish hands he produced so much magic in and around the golf course they've uh, got this little bit of a display going on in the entrance to buena vista club where there's plenty of memorabilia this club opened in 2003 it's only one of uh, there's 26 courses that have been designed by sevi only one on the island of tenerife and this is it and those uh, that little bus there of his hands is uh, pretty special to be fair because they were magic hands let's be fair and as I say, I can't believe that put went on in this green on this par three, which is one of the standout holes. It's a great golf course, full stop. But obviously the sort of ocean views on this side, on the back nine, really make these things sort of stand out, I suppose. But the design is really good. Plenty of cameras and runoffs and swales. It's almost got a kind of, in, in a humps and bumps, you've got a lynx feel to it. Uh, perched on the ocean, you've got the wind that always comes in uh, to make this uh, a tough old test. But... It's a top, top track, this, and like I said, maybe for me, just that little bit more special uh, from being designed by the man himself. We just talked about great design in the 16th. You're literally perched on the, uh, on the ocean top in terms of the tee shot. You can feel the wind in my back now. Then you look across and you talk about course design. Plenty of trouble down the right-hand side, so you can't bail out. There's no bailout zone, and if you go down the left, well, you're hitting the cliffs and you're into the ocean. Um, so it's one of them things again where, again about clever design, it forces you into playing a good shot and if it's not a good shot you're probably going to get punished one way or another. I'll probably get punished one way or another. Let's see how we get on.
Right, final hole, let's see if we can finish off in a bit of style. It's, uh, you can't see, if you can see a top of some water there, that's the top of a little fountain. There's a pond in front of the green and between me and the flag, it's pretty much uh, from 50 yards in, it's all water. So we're going a straight line to the flag, it's 155. Hopefully you picked it up because I wanted you to see it in the backdrop of the mountains and that's right on line for the flag. Whether the yardage is right we'll soon find out because it's either right on the flag or right in the water if it's short. I think that one's for Seve, isn't it? Wow, I'm so pleased to finish off with that. Bit of pitch mark is right on line for the flag. Well, never mind, it didn't quite get the birdie finish. That would have been too much to ask, but it was still a great way to end uh, this round at Buena Vista Golf. For what a golf course it is. Uh, I don't need to say anything, I don't think. You've seen it all for yourself. It's been a great stay up there, and I think uh, maybe the only thing I can say is Gracias Sevi. It's a great design, a great golf course, and uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it. And I even got a Sevi fist pump in there as well.